to Hamby. A nice find by Kelsey Plum. That's her 10th assist of the game. 18 points, 10 assists. Yeah, Becky Hammond says when she really got good was when she started sharing the ball with all of her teammates this season. Jefferson, the three, short. Milic, offensive rebound. She's fouled by Hamby. 32.2 seconds remaining. Nina Milic is two of two at the free throw line. Links are down by 10. Well, these two teams actually match up with each other pretty well, you know, and that's why I think the battles have been so close in all the games so far. Well, Cheryl Reeve talked before the game about defense against Las Vegas, which a lot of teams do, but in the first meeting, Las Vegas scored 93 points against the Lynx. Second meeting, Vegas scored 96 points against the Lynx. Now tonight, 91 with right. 32 seconds to go. So you gotta beat them with defense, you're not gonna outscore them. Milic makes one free throw, so it's a nine point Minnesota lead. The Lynx led it briefly, 76-75. The kicked ball, they'll say kicked by Las Vegas. Minnesota basketball. And Mariah Jefferson right down to the last 20 seconds of this game, giving up her body, hustling, diving for balls. A 20-second timeout. And Kelsey Plum and Chelsea Gray are both saying that was not a Vegas kicked ball, and the officials are hearing nothing of it. Not changing it? They are not. The Lynx took a, a one point lead. It was 76 75 Minnesota. That was at the 514 mark, and since then it's 16 6 Vegas run. Las Vegas came in tied with the Chicago Sky, both at 14 and 5, the best records in the WNBA, followed by the Sun, Storm, Mystics. And then Minnesota in the 11th spot, but coming in two and a half games out of a playoff spot. And the way this Lynx team has been playing over the last two weeks, everyone in that organization believes that when this season is over, the Lynx will be one of the top eight and get a postseason game at minimum. Yeah, that's, that's what they're hoping for, and they definitely have the talent to do it. You just got to start racking up the Ws. Phantom gets free on the dribble, and she's got another one. A six three-pointer night for Rachel Bannum. Rachel Bannum's doing anything and everything she can trying to help the Lynx get a win here. Well, that makes it a six-point game. 3.6 seconds left to go on the timeout means that Las Vegas will be advancing the basketball. So 3.6, uh, not a lot of time to make up six points. No, it's not. So it's fouling, I'm guessing, lots of fouling. Whatever you can do with <laughs> yep, 3.6. I mean, it's immediate foul and hope for a miss, and you absolutely yes. burn it down court and hit a three. Foul immediately. Another Vegas miss, another burn down the court, and another three. So Bantam's got six of them. She's going to finish with eight. 24 points on six of eight from three, eight of 12 overall. The career high for Rachel Bantam is 29 points. That came in the Wubble season of 2020. This is a season high for Rachel at 24. Chelsea Gray has it. Las Vegas just needing to work off three and a half seconds. They can't get it in. Vegas needs to call a timeout. So these Lynx players are playing defense until the very end. I think that's what's pretty unique about this group is how much they struggled at the start of the season, but they stuck together. They haven't fallen apart. And then as they've been playing better and better basketball, it's like this group is, it's like they're ready to take that next step. We were talking to Ariel Powers after shoot around this morning about how the team stayed together because you pointed out a lot of teams will not only crumble, they'll fight against themselves. Yes. They will just blow the whole thing up essentially from the inside out. And Ariel said it, they've had a lot of internal conversations, a lot of player only conversations. Yes, lots of talking, she said. But you know what, that's what you have to do and it, it, and it really takes W's to change things. And so once they started seeing that, they realized like, okay, this is how we have to do it. 
This time Gray gets it in to Young and back to Chelsea Gray. They'll just hang on to it and the buzzer sounds on a six point Las Vegas win. So the third consecutive tight game between these teams and unfortunately also the third time Vegas has won. We'll wrap up after this.